when we talked about UTM and state plane, we talked about um, two different types of projection. The UTM uses a, a transverse Mercator projection, and the state plane uses a, uh, a conic projection and a Mercator projection, depending on kind of the the uh, length and and height of the area being me being measured. I want to just talk more about projections in general. So. One of the problems with uh, maps is that when you try to take a round surface like the Earth and put it on a flat piece of paper, you cause distortion. You can't, you can't do that without stretching something, bending something to get that to lay flat. So a map projection is a way to portray that surface uh, and reproduce that surface. It's a mathematical formula that moves those xy coordinates in ways um, that will uh, preserve some aspect of distortion, whether it's the shape, the distance, the direction, the scale, um, that distortion will occur, but a projection can address one of those. So if I need a map for uh, navigation, I'm going to find a map that doesn't distort direction because that's going to be really important to me. If I want a political map, um, I may need area and distance uh, preserved. So uh, different projections preserve different different um, aspects. Um, and a globe, of course, preserves all of those, but there's a lot of disadvantages to a globe. <clears throat> they're hard to carry, they're big, they're bulky. So different maps um, preserve different things. A conformal map would preserve the shape. There's maps that preserve distance. As smoothal maps preserve directions, and then there's maps that preserve uh, the sides and the area. There's two ways to talk about um, in any uh, type of map, um, whether it uh, has a tangent or a secant um, line of accuracy. So a tangent means that there's one point um, where, let's just imagine that red line is a piece of paper that we're looking at in, in side view, is laying against the globe, and where that tangent point touches the globe, my map is going to be more accurate. And as I peel the globe away and stretch it onto this piece of paper, I'm going to have more distortion. A secant acts as if I can just shove that piece of paper through the, the uh, sphere, and this way I have more accuracy here at that tangent and more accuracy here at that tangent, and less as I go away from the tangent. So there's uh, two types of projections that I really want you to understand. Um, a cylindrical, and also uh, we'll look at a pseudo-cylindrical, a conic projection, and I'll just show you a couple planar projections. A cylindrical projection is kind of what it sounds like. You take um, the mapping surface and it's uh, wrapped as a cylinder around the earth, the earth or whatever you're mapping, and in this uh, example, a cylindrical projection is going to be more accurate where that object touches the paper. You can have a, a, a secant cylindrical projection where that cone of paper actually goes through the globe and you have two lines where um, it's more accurate. A conic projection, the same thing. You can have a conic projection where you just have a tangent line, so the first place that the globe would touch uh, the cone, or you can have secant where you have two lines of parallel where um, the globe actually touches uh, the line. And a planar projection is um, where in a tangent where you have one point and um, the paper isn't wrapped at all, it's just kind of plain sheet of paper and the globe is peeled off. So on this one, of course, the center would be accurate and all four corners would have more distortion. Or you can have a secant where it goes through a small circle um, on the paper and again around the small circle is more accurate and um, away from that circle is uh, very distorted. So here's an example of what's called um, an unprojected coordinate system. Some people call it a geographic projection but that would be a misnomer. So this is just latitude and longitude laid out in an equal rectangular grid system. Huge amount of distortion in every aspect, shape, scale, area. Um, perhaps right along the equator it is not distorted but pretty much distortion everywhere else. 
Here is a cylindrical projection. It's a Mercator projection. And you have very straight parallels uh, and meridians. Um, but your, your latitude lines are not equally spaced, which, and your longitude lines are. Um, scale is true at the equator. It's uh, used for um, marine navigation. So this type is a uh, Mercator projection. A Robinson projection is pseudo-cylindrical. Um, and so you wrap that paper around, but then you kind of uh, pinch it in at the poles where the longitude and latitude would naturally go, but they don't pinch all the way. Um, and this way, those northern countries are still somewhat distorted, but they're also easier to see. And so these are good for thematic maps. A conic projection, um, again, here is an uh, example of the Lambert conformal conic. It's used uh, almost exclusively in USGS maps. And so there are two standard parallels. So you've got a lot of accuracy on each of those parallels. Um, and um, another type of conic that you'll see often for uh, the northern hemisphere is the Albers equal area conic and so there's two lines of parallels on on that projection so when you make a map you've got to know what area you want um, to map and then decide what projection you want to choose um, so for an exam I want you to be able to talk about these different projections listed here what type they are are they conic are they pseudo cylindrical are they cylindrical what is their function and where's the general distortion and this website um, where did I just put that let's see if I can get that to come up this has a great uh, discussion on projections and I made this really small so you're not going to be able to see the whole page but um, it has some much more detailed uh, discussion has a lot of the images that I use but at the bottom uh, I wanted to show you a transverse mercator and the transverse mercator um, actually has the central meridian um, touches the cylinder but it can actually change direction so that you can get this accurate wherever you need um, that that meridian to be accurate and this is why it works for the UTM. But at the bottom of this, um, there's a, another oblique Mercator. There's lots of Mercators. Um, I wanted to show you a table at the end of this. So don't watch if you're getting car sick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Way more about projections than you may want to ever know. So here's a nice little um, table that talks about what type of projection it is. Um, is it saving uh, area, distance, uh, shape, and um, some of the functions of those maps or where you would use them.